What's up guys, Mike Dakota here. Today I'm going to go over a, a cool trick that I learned. So here, let's say we have two numbers, A and B, and we want to multiply them together and then truncate the fractional part. So get rid of the decimal part. So as you can see here, 198 times 1.1 1 .1 equals 217.8, and if we remove the 0.8, you get 217. So this problem is actually really easy if the values are super small. But for super large numbers, you have to know the trick behind it. So how do you do this problem? And what is the trick? So truncating is really hard for like uh, large numbers, but here's the trick. So you take your decimal part, right? Your decimal number, so both of these are, uh, B is a decimal, right? And A is an integer. So when you take your decimal part and you add it by any random garbage value that has like longer than, um, I don't know, 0 0.001 or any garbage value, right? that has like a decimal value. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna multiply by 100 and cast it, okay? So here, LL is a long, long. So we're gonna take our decimal value and multiply by 100 and then cast it to a long, long. Okay, so that way it's gonna be um, truncated. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this value and multiply by A, which is like our other value, right? Our value of A. And then we're gonna divide by 100. Essentially what we're doing is we're taking, so we're trying to calculate A times B, right, and then truncate it, so truncate, so to, what we're doing is we're, we're basically taking B and then just adding it by like 0 .001, right, and then we're casting it, cast it, uh, multiple point zero zero one, and then multiply this value by 100, and then we're casting it. Okay, to a new, 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 new value. Let's call it D, and then then we multiply this new value by A and divide by 100. Okay, so A times D divided by 100. Okay, and the reason why we're doing this is that this would help uh, stop the overflow of issues for floating point values, and it will also help you uh, dealing with large numbers. So yeah. This is a cool trick you could do. Um, not sure if it's super useful outside of coding contests, but this is very useful, okay? So add it by some garbage decimal value, multiply by 100, cast it, then do your multiplication with your other number and then divide by 100, okay? So yeah, if you wanna take two numbers and you wanna truncate and multiply them, multiply them and then truncate it, this is what you do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.